Hello everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Max. Hello everybody. This is Nora. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 So Nora, do you drive? No, I don't have a driver's license. Really? Why don't you get one? Well, that's because I prefer to be driven around like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> well, me too.、Um, not the princess part. <laughs> driven around like a VIP. Hmm,、嗯、VIP 一样对吧？那所以听你这么说，你也不会开车喽？ No, I've had every chance to learn, but I never bothered. When you go to the city center, it takes ages to find a place to park. <laughs> right. So, how do you get to work every day then? Do you take a taxi? No, I live too close to take a taxi, but too far to walk, so I take my bike. <laughs> That's also nice. It's also kind of a workout. <laughs> but I heard that your wife is learning to drive. When you buy a car, she will be able to take you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, but I don't think buying a brand new car for a first-time driver is a good idea. We always buy second-hand cars in the West after we learn how to drive. Ah, buying second-hand cars 意思就是说买二手车 So why do you choose second-hand cars? Well, there's lots of reasons, really. How about we go through that today? Okay, sounds interesting. 那我们今天呢就来聊一聊买二手车 Okay, so first, I encourage anyone who's starting to learn how to drive to get an old banger. What's an old banger? An old banger is British slang for a visibly old car. Ah, so this phrase "old banger" actually refers to an old car. That old car is usually old bangers. Yeah, we use the word "old banger" because old cars make a bang. Yeah, we use the word "old banger" because old cars make a bang. Sometimes, when driving, the car is always bang, bang, bang. It's very good. All right. If I remember correctly, in the US, they say "jalopy." That's right. They say "jalopy" to mean an old car, but both Americans and the British will understand either one. Okay. So why should we get a jalopy or an old banger when we learn to drive? So one of the main reasons is because new drivers are inexperienced. <laughs> okay, I see. So inexperienced means not having much experience, 就没有什么经验 So inexperienced drivers, 也就是我们说的新手司机了 Right, just prefix experience with in, and we have the opposite meaning. Okay, so inexperienced drivers buy second-hand cars. Why is that? Because they're afraid of having car accidents. 难道是因为怕出车祸，然后车子被撞坏了吗 ？Well, actually, that's right on the nail. <laughs> oh, really? I was just joking. Yep, you were right on the nail. Inexperienced drivers buy second-hand cars because there is a good chance. That they'll have an accident. <laughs> 那我们刚刚讲到一个表达，就是 right on the nail. Nail 呢，其实指的钉子。Right on the nail 就是正好钉在钉子上面，就可以表达完全正确这个含义。那我们刚刚其实讲到，就是新手司机嘛，他们上路的话就很容易出车祸，所以就要买二手车了。Yeah, there's no reason for you to buy a new expensive car when it's quite likely that you will crash it. Exactly. It makes no sense, and there's no logic to it. And second-hand cars are dirt cheap. Drivers don't care if it gets damaged. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Dirt cheap 就是指的非常便宜，完全不值钱。For example, the beer in the bar next door is dirt cheap. <laughs> really? Okay, let's finish up and go now. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so how much money do you need to buy an old banger? It really depends how old the car is, what model, how many miles or kilometers has it driven, etc. But you can buy a used car as cheap as five thousand yuan in the UK. <laughs> wow, just five thousand, 就五千元 And that's the total cost of it. Yeah, you don't need any car loans to buy it at all. <laughs> 就真的是非常的划算了。那刚刚讲到一个 car loans， 其实指的车贷。那如果是买的豪车的话，就可能会需要这个了。先付一部分的首付，然后再付接下来的每个月的分期的付款。Yeah, pay by installments. If you really decide to do that, I would suggest the down payment should try to cover the cost of at least twenty percent of the purchase price. Wow, very professional advice. 那刚刚我们其实讲到了两个单词嘛。
，第一个就是 pay by installment， 意思就是指的分期去付款。那分期的第一笔我们叫首付嘛，在英文中叫做 down payment。那 Max 刚刚其实说到这个建议，就是至少是全价的百分之二十。Yeah, a down payment lower than twenty percent might put you upside down on your car loan. Upside down 就是上下颠倒了，所以这里的意思是 ，if it's lower than twenty percent, you have to pay more. Right, you'll probably owe more money on your loan than the car is worth. 嗯，也是一个非常实用的建议啊。那大家如果真正想买新车的话呢，其实也可以考虑刚刚我们说的这几个选择：分期的付款呀，或者是就是车贷了。Yeah, but still, I think buying old bangers are the best choice, since most new drivers are usually in their teens or early twenties. This age group needs to, you know, live within their means. <laughs> All right, live within their means. 意思就是说省吃俭用。They're not spending more money than they can afford. Yeah, and if someone is living beyond their means, they are spending more money than they can afford. Wow, 就是指的完全没有节制了。嗯 ，live beyond their means， 这样呢其实也特别的不好。你就发现最后一直在还贷款，然后花呗欠了很多的钱。嗯，那看来今天 Max 买车给了很多实用的建议。<laughs> And one more thing, you really need to know your onions. Sometimes a used car salesman will try to sell you something that really isn't worth the price. Know your onions? You mean know your opinions? <laughs> no, know your onions means to be very knowledgeable about something. Oh, I see. 就是指的非常精通某件事情 Like I know my onions about shopping. <laughs> yeah, and I know my onions about cooking. Yeah, but why onions? I'm not really sure. Maybe because it sounds funny. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, so if you're an inexperienced driver, be sure to buy a jalopy that is dirt cheap, and drive that for a decade before you consider buying a new car. But make sure that you know your onions, otherwise you might be paying for more than you need. Awesome. I think I start looking driving schools now. Good idea. Okay, well that's all the time we have for today. 嗯，那今天关于买二手车就聊到这里结束了。Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So, thank you very much for listening. This is Max. This is Nora. See you next time. Bye. Bye.